Johnny, well, good to see you, first and foremost. I guess the first question, the question that people want asking is, is how are you? How, how's the injury and, and where are you in, in kind of your recovery? Yeah, I'm in a good space. Um, everything's going to plan. And uh, obviously we've got to take it week by week, day by day. And uh, that's what I'm doing. So hopefully we can just get back as soon as possible. And, uh, start helping the team out again. Yeah, and it's, it's obviously a crucial period for the team and, and you've been a crucial player within that team for, for a lot of this season. Um, obviously a big run as well. I'm sure you are absolutely you know, bursting to get back on the pitch, particularly in such a crucial period of the season. Yeah, I can't lie. I'm itching, man. I'm, I'm, every night I'm thinking, wow, like, can this not be over and done with already? Like, I want to be back tomorrow. But obviously these things you can't rush, you know. They're, they're, you've got to think about long term, you know. You don't want to mess up your, your thing now, come back too soon and then boom, you're out for God knows how long. So um, that's more pain. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm still happy for the team, you know. They're, they're doing the job that we're supposed to be doing and uh, hopefully we can continue until I'm back and then we can, uh, I can add my input again and uh, yeah, flourish. You've obviously had tough periods of injury before. Have, have, has that kind of helped you this time mentally? I must, it's always difficult, I'm sure, getting injured, but have you been able to kind of use those experiences from, from the past? Yeah, but to be honest, regardless of how many experiences you've had with injury, it's always the same feeling. Like you always got to grind it out. But having been injured before, it does kind of remind you that you will get better, you know? Like you always have that in the back of your mind, you will get better eventually at some point. So you just got to keep believing in that, that goal. And uh, yeah, man, that's, that's all I've been doing really, isn't it? But it is, it is tough. When you get injured, especially at this point in the season, you want to be out there. But everything happens for a reason man. yeah absolutely and, and again just a final question on the on the injury there'll be people who want to know they'll be looking at that Ipswich game and uh, I know you sort of uh, and you can answer it that you don't know that's fine but um, do you hope to be back for that is, is there any chance of, of you being back for that difficult I mean, to say at the minute it is difficult to say man now obviously everyone wants to be playing in that game like there's been those guys that were out injured when um, we last played them so but obviously we can show that everyone can perform on the day and uh Everyone can kind of add their input in, and uh, yeah, man, I'm hoping we can do the same for the game, regardless of whether I'm playing or not. So, yeah. We, we, we just spoke to Shane, and obviously he's been in for a similar period than you in terms of having to watch a lot of a, a lot of games. But spoke about his pride at what the team has, has produced. Has that been kind of similar feelings for you watching the team in recent weeks and their performances? Yeah, like it is. You know, like it's it's a good feeling that everything that we've obviously individually, me and Shane, we've, we've Put into this team, it's not going to waste, you know. Like it's not just a toss of season. We can actually gain something from this, you know, as a as a collective. So I'm looking forward to seeing the, the team perform week in week out. And, um, that'll be counting down the days, and then we can get back to join them back into the squad. Yeah, and, and obviously in your position, Borja has, has, has stepped up, and I'm mm. beginning to see what, what he's capable of. We've seen Gary Sarra in a, in a um, yeah. wide right role as well. So the players there that are producing and, and are also contributing to sort of goals and assists. Now. Yeah, we've got a lot of quality in the team. We've got a lot of talent. I think it's clear to see um, everyone. When they're playing, even not even at their best, they can still be better than a lot of teams in the in the, in the champ. So, uh, yeah, man, I believe in the team. I think that's where the belief comes from, knowing that we've got them type of quality players in the team, and uh, hopefully they can continue what they're doing. You must be itching to get playing. Oh with man, I'm, I can't wait, bro. He's overtaking me now, so I can't wait, bro. But now nah, I like the competition, though. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, good stuff. And, and in terms of the group more, more widely, obviously it's well documented. There was a really difficult spell in this season, and again, spoke to Shane a little bit about this. But it's clear that there's been a lot of togetherness in this team throughout this season. Do you feel that's that's had been kind of helped by that that period, if, if that makes sense. It's kind of pushed you all closer to, together, and are we kind of seeing that a little bit more now? Yeah, we um, yeah, tough. There's been some real tough moments in the season. You know, everyone's been questioning like, outside of the club. Everyone's been questioning what's going on, like what's going to happen next. Blah, blah, blah. But you know, I think the main thing as a team was that we stuck together, and that's what we did. And now we've come out the other side, and everyone's kind of stuck with that same belief. When it comes to and uh, yeah, it's good that no one's let us down, and you know we can continue to uh, build on that, you know. And now we're kind of reaping awards from that belief and dedication that kind of brought us out of that 
little horn though really. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure as well, because of the, the period that we're in, I'm sure you've had some time to reflect as well. This has kind of been your, I don't want to say breakthrough season, but certainly maybe first season at a senior level properly. Mm. Um, has it sunk in what you've been able to do? Have you thought too much uh, about what you've been able to do? Because for a player of your age, it's, it's remarkable in terms of output and yeah. what you've been able to produce. It is, it is weird, with me personally, it is weird to kind of, to kind of take in what just happened. Like straight off the game, they're not really thinking. I'm just obviously happy and relieved, but I'm not really thinking about what I've done so far. I think towards the end of the season, maybe when I'm on holiday, I can just kind of just sit back and be like, oh, I did that, you know? I have to have a feeling to kind of reflect on it and show my family and my friends and just, you know, have everyone be proud. Do, do you feel like you've hit top gear yet? You've hit the level that, that you know you can reach? Nah, 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 nah. nah. I, I so think, there's even more to come, which is I exciting. think I have a lot more to, to bring to, to the team and um, hopefully I can just show that as soon as possible, you know? Is there one area in particular that you're looking at and, and thinking that you'd like to see? I mean, I think it's just overall general play. Like, I just want to produce more and more, you know? like play for longer, score more goals, get more assists, create more chances, just improve my stats, improve my overall gameplay, improve just making me a better player, you know? And making me a better player means making the team a better player and vice versa, so, yeah. Uh, I've got to ask you as well, I think this summer is, is getting towards the end of, of your deal, and I think there's a year option and et cetera, so that extends that, but where are we with, with that? Is there any kind of movement in terms of your, your contractual situation? I haven't actually been involved in any of that right now. I've just kind of just left it to my agent, especially now I'm going through injury. I've kind of just let my agent deal with all the no, like contract negotiations and whatnot. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say for that. But I guess there's, there's been some clarity in terms of parking it to the end of the season. So that, that probably has helped you kind of. Yeah, like, I'm, yeah like I don't, I don't really like all that noise that goes around. I don't really like speaking on it. I just kind of just do my job on the pitch and then allow my agents and the club to kind of do their job off the pitch. Yeah, and another question I wanted to ask you was, was kind of about speculation, but not necessarily about, you know, is there anything in it and that kind of thing, but more about how have you kind of handled it? Because I'm sure it's been your first experience probably of having that as a player and it can change players, it can, it can mm. you know, affect, I remember Todd Campbell speaking a lot about how speculation kind of affected him and, and whatnot. How have, you, how have you kind of dealt with that? I mean, I'm a weird, I'm not weird. <laughs> That's the wrong word. I like to use a lot of things as motivation, good, bad, or just neutral. Like I, I just somehow find a way to motivate me to be a better person and a player. And all that speculation kind of made me realise that, that I'm, I must be doing something well. So if I continue to do that, then to get me the more recognition I can get in it. Yeah, literally. So yeah, that's just who I am. Mm. And, and I guess just finally, you know, you've got a run now of, of, of eight games. We'll see how much of that you're available for. But you must be, you know, it's, it's such an exciting period for everybody around the club, isn't it? And, and like we've spoken about, even through the, duff, the difficult moments and the tough moments, it's, it's a real block of games that everyone can focus and, and feel energised and excited by. And mm. you must be really excited to, to be a part of that. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Everyone's excited, man. Everyone's, everyone's on the same wavelength. Um, I've got to stop speaking about it before I, get, before I do something stupid, so, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm itching, man, I'm itching, I'm ready to get back. Top man, Johnny, look forward to seeing you back soon.